the way you, you got to look at it and the way well not the way you have to look at it you can be you can just play the meta like you can just do that that's fine um what i like to do is because there's always a counter right it doesn't matter what it is there's always a counter to it so what i like to do is i like to to find the counter to the meta and it's worked out a lot um it's just when you do that you have to find an army that can do it right so like what everyone's been coming to me and saying is like yo uh supple and dropouts in these top dog companies all run health because micro said it's bisque that's the most effective hp right and he's like so what you need to do is it's, you need to run health because all the best players run health but what they weren't thinking about is those top players can have anything on their gear they can have anything they can literally have two perk you know 600 gear uh and beat you in your 700 gear so, so for you to be like, because they run it, I should run it is the worst mindset I've ever encountered in my life. So, so that's my thing. Um, it doesn't matter what these top tier players are running on their gear because it, it there's just a skill difference. So it, it doesn't just because health might be working for them. That could have been any other perk in the world. They could run crit ret, sturdy energy, um, empowering breaker, shirking energy on their gear and kill people in a war. And they'd be like, fuck, dude, I got to reroll my gear with all those perks on it because these guys are just better. And that's what makes them better. It's literally like 75 to 80% skill and like 20% gear because you can find okay gear and still do very well. Like we had a bruiser that used to run purple gear in all of our wars, just to prove a point, And he would still be in the top two bruisers every war. And it's like, there's a reason for that. You know, there's a reason. A skill diff, not a gear diff. And if you think it's a gear diff, you're coping. Now, don't get me wrong. At the highest of high tier level, right? The highest of high tier. If you are just as good, you are equals to one another. And you both play absolutely perfect. Yes, gear can come into play. How often does that happen? I'm going to go with never. But again, that's my opinion. Everybody has their own. They're like assholes, right? Everyone has them. Uh, meta changes too quickly to miss out war gear, in my opinion. So, so that's the thing too, right? Like, I think, I don't think the meta has changed at all. I just think people were led down the wrong road. Hey, what's up, puppet? How are you? Tell me more about health was never miss. Yeah, I got you. A quick question. If you were a light load, um, you do more damage compared with heavy load. Correct. You do. So uh, a really good way to know what you're doing and what you're not doing is if you hover over your equipment load at the top, it'll show you like base damage plus 20% in light. It shows your outgoing healing advantages, things like that, right? So you can just hover over that and it'll show you all the perks and, uh, you know, debuffs of running that build. No, I think it should be exactly what it is with outgoing healing. It should also be outgoing damage. I think they should take 30% off of um, heavy damage. And that'll make pe that'll force people back into medium. Because medium used to have it like, okay, I don't have to run hardy on my ring. I get that extra dodge still. Uh, and I do more damage. So like, whatever. Cool. I can now have an entire build because it's medium. There's no real reason to run medium anymore as a bruiser. Now, 
What I think people should start doing is if you were running other than healers, healers excluded, take healers out of the equation. If you were a light build, run medium. If you were a medium build, run heavy. That's like the meta right now. But see, that's the thing, right? So spears and stuff um, used to run light. Now they should be in medium. All those light schizo -y builds should be in medium now. And all those disruptor type builds that used to just fuck with them that used to be in medium are now heavy. You know what I mean? Um, I appreciate the follows too. Thank you, Brute. Appreciate you. Um, so what I was saying about health and it's kind of like the, we kind of made like a little rule um, earlier today that, well, one, let's rephrase all of it first. Nothing has changed with health. Nothing has changed with healing since the release of health. Nothing has changed. It's just everyone was going off of the word and the spreadsheet of a person who didn't consider something that everyone thought they would have considered because it was such a basic thing. So there's a content creator out there. <laughs> Love you, J-Dub. There's a content creator out there that made an effective HP sheet and things like that, right? So they said health was bis because that's the most possible effective HP you could have. But what they didn't consider is that effective HP they were talking about was me versus you. If we have the same exact gear, but I have health on mine and you have, say, slash conditioning and we go blow for blow, I'm going to win because I have more health and your conditioning didn't do enough to, to stop me from beating you blow for blow. So therefore, health is bis. But the way uh, Jax and I, uh, Jax is one of my good friends. Uh, hold on. Someone I consider a good friend. He probably thinks I'm a dickhead. Um, what we were talking about on literally the fucking first week of this uh of this expansion is if you're looking at it in terms of health this is what it would add to your bar okay is the green uh my head might be blocking it and i'm sorry if it is but the green is what health will add to your bar right your bar of health this whole section right here in red will technically scale infinitely with your slash conditioning or whatever conditionings you're running so if you're being healed the throughout the entirety of a fight or a war or whatever the red bar is what contain obviously the whole thing contains your conditioning right and health isn't like the worst perk ever but it's not bis because conditioning will scale infinitely throughout the entirety of the fight because you're being externally healed so your health bar then goes to, say, 100k HP, right? But all health is doing is adding 2k HP. It doesn't scale when you get healed. Whereas conditioning and damage absorption perks scale infinitely throughout your health bar for the entirety of the fight. And that's like the simplest way I can describe it. So health end of the health bar might prevent a burst or like a one shot or one extra arrow or something like that but it does not scale throughout the entirety of the fight whereas your regular hp will scale and your conditioning will scale with that of how much damage it has mitigated throughout the entirety of the fight so that is why health was never bis it was just considered bis. How does someone make such a large spreadsheet about effective HP and not consider that tunnel vision? I, I don't know. But I will tell you that without talking with Jax and, and doing all this stuff and figuring it out for ourselves, literally fucking day one of the expansion, health, in my opinion, was also like, I considered it that way too. I was like, well, if I go blow for blow with this guy with a fire staff and he has more health than me, even though we have the same stat split and the same shit, 
He's going to beat me. But you're not considering any other outside sources, such as healing, right? So now you have to look at the fact of, well, you can say that condition slash conditioning isn't going to help me if I'm getting hit by a fire staff all the fucking time. And that is so fucking true. But that's where your other perks come into play as well, right? So it's knowing your enemy. There's only a certain amount of combination of weapons and things that can fucking hit you with the job that you're doing. So it's about knowing what your job is, knowing what you're facing, knowing your enemy. That's why I think, I personally think that the Abyss Great Axe being run with strength and a hammer will hit so fucking hard right now. And the reason for it is everybody, including myself, is running Glacial Tarn gear with Elemental Aversion and Slash Conditioning. So in my head, a very tunnel vision brain, I'm fucking unstoppable in a clump, baby. Your fire staff ain't doing shit to me. Your great axe ain't doing shit to me. Keep it coming. Keep hitting me, bro. But then when an abyss comes out and I have no actual void protection from melee, that shit is going to, oh, oh my eye. You know what I mean? Like they're going to fuck me up. They really will. They'll fuck you up. Your job is to please me, dude. You do a great job, J-Dub. So, Puppet, that is why I think health was never miss. And I... I do want people to challenge me. And the reason I say that is because that is exactly why... I have people like Maelstrom on mine, but I'm a total different build. This build right here is not a build that people are running or even considered running. And I will not be slotted in a war until our company goes to war and I prove that it's a good fucking build. This is a build I've had for over a year before Abyss even fucking was a thought. But Abyss made it 10 times more powerful. So I hope this is not going on YouTube. It could. It could, but I don't. I'm bad at that. I'm very bad at that. I'm very bad at putting out the content that I need to put out because I'm fucking brain dead. <laughs> so I'm currently running Enfeebling Maelstrom on my abyss. And I know people can argue what I just said. What I just said was people are going to run abyss with strength and a hammer. And I know that totally mitigates the whole deal 15% more damage when mana is below 100%. Because how the fuck do you lose mana by using a hammer and a great axe? You can't. But if everybody is running slash conditioning and you're doing 25% less damage with that, another 15% less damage with their fucking protection... Well, now you're doing 40% less damage. So if you convert that to void damage, your 15% ain't shit. And who cares? Just start fucking whacking them, dude. I'm a returning player and I've been seeing it everywhere. I was saying almost the same thing to the company yesterday when someone mentioned Adamant being 10K. Adamant is a 1,500 gold perk at best. I sold probably... 10 to 15 adamants between the ranges of 17k and 25k. Uh, they used to actually go for like 40k, but people are stupid. Like people just don't think for themselves and they don't challenge anything. And that's why health was bis for so long is because no one challenged uh, a creator that has actually made metas and made um, some of the most effective builds. But as soon as you add in external healing, all of his spreadsheet and math goes to shit. But no one ever challenged it because 
He plays for one of the best companies and he has created metas and things before. So with that being said, very fucking smart individual, knows the game very well, just had a very unfortunate oversight. Just a very, very unfortunate oversight for someone that is very intelligent. And if you know who I'm talking about, do not stop watching his videos because the dude is 99% fucking correct. But since day one of this expansion, I've explained in this channel that health is not bis and will not be bis. Uh, shitty thing is health not being bis is crafting. Because now crafting is just oof because Azoth inductor or bust. I don't think so. Because, okay, so, fact, going back, going back, right, to what we were just talking about before. If you are, if you're running Unk and you're in a clump, right, health is not bis. If you're not a clump enjoyer and your fights are faster, they don't require healing, and you're just fucking people up, and you're running endless thirst because you're not being healed. Health is fine. It's absolutely fine to run. Hey, what's up, puppets? Appreciate you. That's not true. So it is true that conditioning doesn't protect you until after you're hit. But what in this game can hit you once and kill you? While you're being healed in a sacred ground. In a clump. And health doesn't protect you from anything. Other than if you can have enough health stacks to prevent a one shot. You can run these. These what? What does that mean, J-Dub? These nuts. Okay. Okay. 